Would you work for silver or gold? Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. You know, before we dive deeper into that question, and you answer it in the comments for me below, I want to address a comment by SMP period. He says, new world order is coming, so it's pointless to stack gold or silver. One world currency. Even having cash won't do you any good. Metals and cash will be outlawed. Cashless society. Talk about that, Yankee. <laughs> well, I will. I love it when you guys leave comments like that. You challenge me, you say, hey, Yankee, talk about that. <laughs> Let's understand something about currency right now. Currency is what makes the world go around. Cash is king. And by the way, I think you need to stack it at home. <laughs> stack your cash. It's a critical short-term prep. But you know what I think? I think, yeah, I think S&P period might be on to something. I think in the future, cash will be trash. See, folks, there is a war on currency. The battlegrounds are all over the place, and we see it right here in the United States. I do believe that one day we will see cash disappear. You see, I believe that the government wants to track, trace, control how you spend your currency. Governments all over the world want that. Now, understand that they're going to say, we got to get rid of this stuff for, for our own good, all right? Th th this stuff is it's icky. It's nasty. It's a, it's a transmission vector for all kinds of, of nasty germs. It could be a real threat to our health and safety. They're, they're going to say, hey, all we're doing is trying to stop bad guys from doing bad things. That's it. But what they really want to force is our spending. They know that that's what truly makes our faux economy work. Spending. Spend, spend, spend. They, when they inject currency into the fake economy, they do it through primary banks. They give the money to them and they expect, hope, and, and prod them to loan it out. And that is how liquidity is driven. That is how the currency gets uh, sent into businesses and people's wallets. But if the banks don't lend it out, it doesn't get into people's wallets. So what they want to be able to do is directly inject it into our wallets, whether it be <laughs> a physical wallet <laughs> like Yankees, which I, I don't use a whole lot, or onto a phone a digital wallet. So you see, they really do want to force spending and they don't want to go through the primary banks. And they also want to be able to go negative if need be. And you can't really do that easily with this stuff. Because what happens, people take it out of the public bank and put it into their own private bank at home in their safe or under their mattress. So that's not viable, especially if they want to go negative with our interest rates. What I think is coming is a government-backed, central bank-controlled, centralized crypto. But there is a war on cash. And if you want to catch a glimpse of it, I think a good place to look is China. I think they're the bellwether of things to come. Sometimes I think what happens in China eventually starts happening here in the United States. See, China is really pushing their brand new digital yuan. They are all over this. But why the interest? Why are they pushing it? Well, I think it's again about control. This, this, this Chinese government-controlled crypto, if you will, is backed by the state, just like regular fiat currency. And it's um, another big way that they can control their populace. The People's Bank of China is looking at this as a potential way to limit purchases, control what you spend, how much you spend, they might be able to put caps on it. They could maybe make it so that you have to get approval before you spend it. And they could possibly even connect it 
with their social engineering and profiling that's going on. So maybe one day if you're just not government friendly enough, <laughs> if you're saying the wrong things, you may be locked out from purchases. Hmm. Unable to buy or sell. Could that come here? Well, to be to be frank, that it's not widely accepted yet in China. It's not fully adopted, but it's headed there. And I think we may actually play copycat to some degree. We almost did in the last stimulus bill. It was in there before they yanked it out. They wanted the Fed to be able to directly inject currency into our digital wallets. So let's just say for a moment that this is optional. Would you take your income in gold or silver? That's really putting your money where your mouth is, if you will. Let's do the simple math. The Census Bureau says that the 2018, it's a couple years old, but they say in, in uh, 2018, the median income per capita, that's the, the, the midway point, if you will, of income per capita was uh, 34,000 roughly. And that the mean or the average income per capita was just over $50,000. But that's per person. We, l l let's take a look at it from a household standpoint, or better yet, a family. Family income. Okay, so family income is a little bit higher. And by the way, family income is, is defined as the combined income of related people in a household. The real median family income back in 2018 was 78646 The mean or average family income was $106,045. So about $106,000 average in America for a family income. Now to get to that 106,000 family average income or, or more, um, that usually involves a two income family at least. So, or multiple streams of income. So, so let's look at gold right now. Uh, as of the making of this video on June 6th, gold is at $1,681, $1,681 spot price. A single one ounce American gold eagle is going for around $1,800 on JM Bullion, roughly, maybe a little bit older. So I ask you, <laughs> if you were making $106,000 a year, would you take 59 one ounce gold coins as your your annual income. That's roughly five American gold eagles each and every month. With a one ounce American silver eagle running around, what, uh, 26 bucks each? Oh my word, the premiums, right? <laughs> $26 for an American silver eagle. Um, <laughs> You'd be paid roughly 340 American Silver Eagles every month. So my question is, would you do it? Would you take 340 American Silver Eagles every month or five American Gold Eagles as your salary? Mm. <laughs> that's, a, that's an interesting question, isn't it? So think about this from a risk standpoint. What are the risks? Well, um, price fluctuations comes to mind, you know, but maybe that would end up being a tremendous benefit, right? You know, you could really combat you know, rising inflationary uh, forces if you took precious metals rather than this stuff. <laughs> hmm. How about taxes, though? Taxes would still be owed in fiat dollars. So you'd have to sell this stuff for this in order to pay your uh, taxes to the IRS. And as we all know, it would be pretty hard to transact in uh, precious metals as well. And finally, here's the other risk. If you buy into SMP period's comment that I read earlier, a one world currency could make all this Money, real money, pointless, as he says. He contends that metals, along with cash, 
<laughs> will be outlawed one day. I think that's likely with cash. Yeah, I, I think I think this stuff, this stuff's going to be outlawed. It's going to be illegal one day. But precious metals? I highly doubt that. Unlike the cash, no one really uses this stuff. This is, this is not widely accepted everywhere, like cash. And very, very few people stack this. I mean, shoot, if you are a precious metal stacker, silver or gold, you are in, as I say, rarefied air. You are very unique. Not many people have this. So I really doubt very much that they would even bother to make it illegal. I think it's possible silver and gold might be relegated to barter in the black markets one day. But you know, as a prepper stacker, <laughs> that is exactly the main reason why I continue to stack gold and silver. Well, I cannot wait to hear your answer to this question. In fact, I'm going to put a poll question right up there for you to answer, okay? And uh, yeah, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and to leave a comment down there. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. And as always, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.